I'm Dan Crawley, and we are at the Raleigh store, and I'm with Robert the Rug Guy. He's going to show us some of the most important rugs at Greenfront. Take it away. I'd like to show you the two most important rugs in the store. There's three kinds of rugs you're going to come across. Machine-made, handmade scrap, and hand-knotted. Now and forever, the way to tell a machine-made rug is simply flip it over and look at the edging. If you see the edging and it looks like a sewing machine put it on, in this case an industrial sewing machine, it's machine made. A good 8x10 machine made rug, Building 7, Farmville, Virginia 195. Please use your best judgment when spending thousands of dollars for something that's avail available in Farmville for 195 and an 8x10. The second rug is marketed as handmade, handwoven, handcrafted wool. I like to call this fake. Usually the giveaway is the fabric on the back. They can call it handmade because it's a tufting tool held by hand, but a tuft to you and I is a staple. And there's three things about this type of rug. If you read reviews about rugs that stink, it's the glue. If you read reviews about rugs that powder, it's the glue. And everyone knows about wool rugs that shed. When you shear a sheep, it creates long raw material. They save it for hand knotting. What they don't tell you is where they make rugs, they take all the scrap and re-spin it. So while they'll say handmade wool, I consider it punched and glued scrap. So if you read reviews about rugs that shed all the time, that's what you're buying is scrap. Again, this is a decent rug, eight by 10 for 195, building seven, Farmville, Virginia. There are some on the market for thousands of dollars. Please use your best judgment. This is a 195 rug. The third type is hand knotted. People like to say you could tell from the back. I disagree. The proper way to tell hand knotted is take the rug from the front, pinch it, and you can see the individual knots. One knot at a time, one row at a time, and more importantly, it's sheared wool from a sheep, which is longer raw material and will not shed. Lastly, on a hand knotted rug, when they're knotting a rug, they're pulling the knot down, so they're smooth and rough. Now watch the colors change. Against the nap, the light is trapped, and it's darker, and with the nap, the light reflects and it's lighter. Thank and, you. And again, thank you, Robert. Most of, pretty much everything is hand knotted. Hand so knotted. we are trying to give you the best of the best. And uh, stop by Raleigh and uh, Robert's gonna take care of you.